Well, hello again, and welcome back to the end of year Canextra's Vaganza. I have for you today a story of either incredible luck or very good batteries. This is my Canon T90. It was given to me by a very close friend um, a long time ago, and I have, it's probably been in my possession for who at least 13 years, maybe only 12, but at least a dozen years. And um, for those that don't know, the Canon T90 has a rather notorious problem where if you do not exercise the shutter periodically, it can lock up and then the camera needs uh, major repairs. And given that they're really not worth that much these days, it's pretty much junk when that happens. So I have periodically been turning it on and firing the shutter like so. Oh, I have it. <laughs> I have it on self timer. I forgot I had that. Hang on. Like so. It's set to aperture priority and the lens cap was on. Hang on now. Oh, how long is this shutter going to go for? The shutter is still open. Oh. <laughs> Doing a great job here, huh? You can stop now. Here, I'm going to open the back. Oh, there we go. Finally, let's turn it back on and let's do, let's go into shutter priority like so. Okay. There we go. So I have been periodically exercising the shutter to hopefully make sure that doesn't happen. And actually it did happen one time. Uh, so what happens is it locks up and the display uh, inside the viewfinder has got an old fashioned LED display. So it's like, e -e -e -e, help. And I was like, oh no, camera's dead. Except by um, pushing in on the aperture preview lever here, it got unstuck. So maybe a pro tip to anybody out there who has a Canon T90, if that happens, just try fiddling with the lever. Cause you can actually hear when you push that in something, the camera does something. It's not purely mechanical. So anyway, that fixed it and it's been fine ever since that happened. And I've been more consciously getting it out of the set to fire the shutter a few times. However, amazingly, this entire time, it has been on the same set of Kirkland Signature AA batteries from Costco. I haven't shot that much film through this camera, so in some ways I'm not terribly surprised. I actually generally much prefer the, um, the Canon F1 here because they take the same lenses. So they are literally going to be taking the same pictures Yes, maybe this has a better film plane or whatever, but I just find this more enjoyable to use because it's, you know, it's very analog in a way that this is not. This, this honestly looks very much like a DSLR, a modern DSLR. And uh, I won't lie, the aesthetics of this camera are extremely pleasing to me. And I do also appreciate the simple fact that like, you know, hand winding it, that just is so satisfying. Ah. Uh, Just, just listen, listen to that. As much as this is, this is cool on its own. I like using this camera better, but in any case, I've been trying to be a good steward of this camera, giving it its exercise and somehow it's on batteries from when I first got it. And so as part of my caretaking, I've been opening the battery tray, checking on them to make sure they're not corroding or leaking. And they haven't been this whole time. I've had this camera in my possession since at least 2009 and possibly before that, but I'm not sure. And in any case, this entire time it has had the original batteries in it. I changed them. I don't believe I changed them ever. They have a um, use by date of 2016. March 2016 is the use by date. Now, I must admit that feels a little long 
for um, the shelf life of alkalines to have been put in in 2009, but maybe not. I don't remember. I don't remember how long of a date they were giving back then for Kirkland signature batteries. Uh, anyway, I am finally going to replace them. And the reason why is because this is starting to get a little bit slow. Let me give you a reference. I can just tell that's slowing down a little bit. So, um, and also if, if you do the battery check, it's only showing one bar and it's flashing. So it would very much like new batteries. So although I don't use it a ton, I am probably, I, I might start get getting back into the groove of using it because um, having a motor drive is nice. It's also got some other features that this camera doesn't. So even though it takes the same lenses, it is superior in those respects. But anyway, let's change the batteries, shall we? I believe we kind of got to do this on the fast side because there's an, there is a internal backup battery that keeps the settings. Um, whether or not it really matters if it dies, I'm not sure, but let's go. So we got my new batteries are these ones. Oh, what? Weird. Okay. It's been so... That's the new one. It's been so long since I've done this, I just don't remember. It's kind of a weird uh, arrangement of the springs. Anyway, that should be it. We'll stick it back in. Okay, it's alive and it still says 125, so I think we did that fast enough. Now let's hear it. Yeah, that's faster. This thing on uh, continuous shooting... It's over four frames a second, I think. It's a pretty impressive camera, even though uh, it don't doesn't get a lot of use from me, just because this is such, this is just a gorgeous looking thing. Really like the way this looks, and quite frankly, the fact that it has the patina that it does from the wear, uh, it's just great. But the main point of this video is these batteries. What champs? They've been in here for so long, they haven't leaked, they still work. The best by, or used by date is 2016. I don't know if um, Kirkland batteries are all this good. I'm sure I've had some that leaked and maybe, maybe the way that this camera does kind of just slowly use them over time means that they didn't, they didn't perish or I, I don't know. All I know is it has astounded me that every time I've checked these batteries in the last decade, they're still okay. I would have been changing it the first sign of leakage, and I'm sure a lot of you would have been like, you should have changed them years ago, but they're still fine. And quite honestly, they could have gone probably another three or four rolls before they needed to be changed. Maybe even more, because I think a set of batteries on this, I think they're good for like a hundred rolls of film. It's pretty impressive. Maybe even more than that. Anyway, pardon, that's, uh, that's all this is. Just look at these batteries. I should like put them, just put them in a case or something and see if they will ever leak. Might be worth doing. Hmm. Okay, well, adios.